Hey cruisers, welcome back to Cruise Report Cruise Reviews. We've recently returned from an 11 night sailing aboard Silver Sea Cruises brand new Silver Ray. And that was our 146th cruise and our 18th sailing aboard a Silver Sea ship. Now, Silver Sea did invite us as members of the media to be on board the ship so that we could cover it for our website and for our YouTube channel. Now, if you have not been to our website, we do have a daily blog where we went through what we did each day. Since this is such a long review, we're going to split this up into several smaller videos, which will be part of a series. You can find links to each of the videos in the description of this video. We hope you enjoy our review. Please feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click that little button down below. Don't forget the notification bell. And don't forget if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for joining us. Now let's get on with the review. Flights were booked through Silver Sea Air, and we didn't get to pick what airline or what flights. They basically put us on United Airlines, which out of DFW is not the best choice for us. American Airlines would have been a better choice because American flies nonstop to many destinations around the world out of Dallas-Fort Worth. This is not a big hub for United, but we spoke with our contact at Silver Sea, and basically they said, sorry, you're on United. So um, we did pay for an upgrade to premium economy on our flight from uh, New Jersey to Venice. We had to fly from DFW to New Jersey, then New Jersey to Venice. And we paid for premium economy, several hundred dollars, I might add. And it was not worth the money. Uh, the seats that we originally had in economy uh, were probably had more legroom than the ones we had in premium economy because we were going to be on a bulkhead. And uh, the meal service was the, well, the service was good. The flight attendants were nice, but the food was terrible. We couldn't eat it. Neither one of us could eat our meal. And it was uh, so that we didn't have a great experience with United Airlines, either going or coming. It, it, we just didn't didn't care for the, the, the food. The catering was terrible. Flight attendants were great. They were very friendly, good service. They did multiple drink services throughout the night, but just not crazy about it. Now, when we got to Venice, we went in a day early. We were going to spend the night before we got on the ship, and we had pre-booked a hotel on our own. We booked a hotel, Palazzo Veneziano, I believe is the name of it. And we were trying to figure out before we left, how are we going to get to the hotel from the airport? Because in Venice, sometimes you have to take water taxis. It's not the easiest city to fly into uh, for a cruise embarkation. It's, you know, whereas someone like Barcelona is a little bit more, you know, is easier to, de to deal with. But basically what we did is we flew into uh, Venice and we got in about 9 o'clock in the morning, I believe. And we were trying to figure out, do we take a water taxi? Do we get on a bus? Do we do a, a private car? How does it work? So we decided, finally, let's reach out to our friends at Black Lane. Black Lane is the limousine service that Silver Sea uses for its guests. We've used them in the past, and they always have done a very good job. So we went online and booked our uh, transfer from the airport with Black Lane to take us to the hotel. Now, our understanding when we booked it 
was that the car would basically take us to within about 300, 200, 300 meters of the front door of the hotel. And then we would have to take our luggage. The rest, you know, we'd have to get off and maybe have someone from the hotel meet us or whatever and take us the rest of the way to the hotel because there's not a lot of roads in Venice. And that's why people use water taxis. So we arrive in Venice on time, pretty much. And we did get a lot of communications from the driver for the Black Lane driver, as well as Black Lane. And they're, they do a very good job at keeping communications. And we looked for our driver when we got out of the airport. Now, when you come out of baggage claim, you get through immigration, you, you get your luggage, you come out through customs, and you have two ways to go. You can go left or right. A lot of airports are like that. We went to the left. You see people standing there with signs looking for, you know, these are drivers that have signs with your names on it. We didn't see our driver. Ricky walked over to the right side where you can come out, and she found our driver. He came over, grabbed our bags, put us in the van, and very nice, very nice guy. And we, uh, we had to wherever we're heading across a bridge to get into the town of Venice because the airport is on the mainland and then you have to go across this bridge to get to Venice which is basically just a bunch of little islands with canals so we he pulls into this parking lot and we get off and there's a water taxi he's putting our luggage on a water taxi and we thought oh boy now we got to pay because water taxis aren't cheap that could be 60 or 100 dollars so we thought oh well, we thought we were going right to the hotel but no we're getting on this water taxi so he puts our luggage on there turns out this was all part of the black lane transfer there is a bridge that's under construction and the the cars were unable to get us to where we thought we were going to be dropped off. So what Black Lane has done is they have arranged a water taxi to take us from this one location. I mean, literally almost to the front door of our hotel. And so we were very, very pleased with the experience, the transfer. It took maybe another probably took us a total of 30 minutes to get from the airport to our hotel. When we got to the dock where the water taxi docks, I mean, you can see the hotel right there. It's right. It's less than 100 yards away. Somebody from the hotel came out and greeted us, grabbed our luggage, and off we go to the hotel. Now, the hotel itself, very nice. I could highly recommend it. Palazzo Veneziano. We had a great experience. Very comfortable. Nice room reasonably priced for Venice, I would say. I think we probably paid, I know we paid less than $400 for the room, which in Venice, you know, it's, it's expensive, but it was a nice room and everything, good experience there. No problem with the hotel. We had a day to shed off some of that jet lag and we walked around, got something to eat. We were starving. Hey, cruisers, thanks for watching this Silver Ray review other videos in the series make sure you check out the description of this video for links to those videos and if you have any questions or comments on our silver ray review please put it in the comment section down below don't forget to click the little subscribe button and that notification bell so that youtube will let you know when we come out with new videos and if you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor and please give it a thumbs up. That really does help our YouTube rankings. Thanks again for joining me and until next time, smooth sailing.